Hello and welcome back to my studio. Well, have you got some old paintings that you're kind of happy with, but you know they can be improved? Maybe even from some years ago and you're not sure what to do with them. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I assess a painting like that and uh, what I did to fix one up. So stick around and let's see how we can transform an old painting into something that you're really happy with. Okay, this is a painting I did years ago. I'm even not sure how long ago, but more than five, six years ago. And I looked at it recently and I thought, hmm, there are a few things I can do with this. And uh, I gave it some thought and, and just try to figure out exactly what I was not happy with. So I'm going to put this in my uh, digital software and just show you where things went wrong and uh, then show you the end result of how I reworked this painting. With time you get new ideas and you learn new things and we're always doing that hopefully. So this will be perhaps useful to you to go back to some of your older work and just redo it. Go over it, fix it up and you may be really surprised at how you like the end result. All right, here's the painting I did years ago and I was looking at it recently and thinking about what I liked about it, what I didn't like. So what I was happy with was this section at the back. All of this sort of simplified details, all the, the trees, shrubs, bushes, etc. Simplified into a few cool brush strokes. Cool color, of course. But I thought it could still be uh, heightened in uh, color intensity and brightness. Uh, it looked uh, kind of overcast type of situation. And then we got to the middle ground where I found areas are very busy. A lot of strong uh, contrast in values. Light against dark, light against dark, light against dark. And that made that middle area very busy. A lot of things attracting your eye. Because then we've still got the foreground and that is full of highly uh, contrasting colors of lights and darks. Now, I do like lights and darks, of course, because they do attract the eye. But there was way too much. This entire foreground section needed to be uh, simplified a lot further as far as values are concerned, value contrast, and also colors. We've got the burnt siennas, the blues. And blue there, burnt sienna, then bright yellow, then green, and dark again. And I thought these reddish burnt siennas are starting to just be one step too far. So the end result or in conclusion was uh, a lot of simplification was required and a lot of values had to be removed, value contrasts that were attracting the eye all over the place. Try to keep the foreground a bit more simple. Take the eye into the background, which would hopefully be a little more punchy as well as far as light is concerned. This light in the foreground has to come from somewhere. Of course, it comes from the sky, but we would need to bring some of that into that background as well. So now let's have a look at the reworked painting and uh, I'll lead you through the decisions process for that. Okay, so there's the old painting on the left and now on the right is the reworked painting. And overall, I'm a lot happier with the reworked painting. So first of all, I went into the, the background and brought in a bit of a scumbled color. You can see the brush dragged over here with thicker paint and just to get that broken light effect, bringing more light into that background. So it would correspond a bit more with the foreground. Then I simplified the the big tree, brought in a bit more color into the middle section of it, and uh, just cut into it a little to try and make this shape a little more interesting and not so rounded as uh, the original. Then worked across the middle section here to remove some of the very strong dark contrast and the dark values that were in the original painting were simply too distracting and blocked the eye from moving into the distance. So got rid of the very strong 
value contrast because shadows are not as dark as that. You can see over here the edges between the different colors in the shadows are much softer. So the shadows kind of are a little more harmonious and uh, not quite as contrasting. And that also helps to just soothe the eye a bit, I think. Way too much going on in this section in the old painting. Then into the foreground, I've got rid of a lot of that light burnt sienna. Simplified the fence posts so they weren't cutting across the foreground, but rather heading into this area and then taking the eye into the distant uh, parts of the painting. So helping the composition, not blocking the path of the eye, but facilitating the eye moving into the painting a lot quicker. Brought in some of these uh, violet colors, suggesting flowers, but of course also a way of accentuating the yellows in this foreground. So the yellows and yellow greens are also a lot less contrasting, more harmonious, and uh, I think a little more exciting as a sort of a springtime color scheme. The foreground here, I've retained this dark entry into the, the painting, but still a lot less uh, contrasts within that as well. Edges within the shadows a lot softer. Uh, edges very important, something to always keep in mind. I brought some thicker paint into the foreground. I actually used a painting knife to just layer these on a bit, and uh, they add some uh, vibrancy to the, the foreground. But uh, that is um, something you can consider. You don't have to use the painting knife. You can work the brush throughout. But as you can see, the rework painting is generally brighter, more colorful, but also softer on the eye and much less busy. It's not exactly uh, falling asleep, but a lot less of those little contrasting strong lights and darks. And I think uh, overall a far more peaceful painting as well, despite it being quite bright and um, a lot of color involved. So there are the changes. I've mostly I've used a big brush just to brush on the new paint. And uh, I can suggest that you can wipe on a little bit of linseed oil onto your old painting surface. But first make sure all the dust has been removed thoroughly with a bristle brush or something like that. Just brush it all off. Lightly oil it. Wipe the excess oil off and just have a, that slight bit of oily surface to help your paints go on. But if you're putting on a lot of thick paint, it's probably not necessary and you can go straight over the clean and dry surface with your oil paint. Well, I hope this video gave you some ideas and gave you something to look back at your old paintings and consider perhaps you can tweak something here or there, or maybe just start right over again. Make sure you have cleaned off the surface of the old painting brushed off all the dust, got off any bits that shouldn't be there, and perhaps even sand down or scrape off a few unsightly uh, blobs of paint that it may interfere with things. So some preparation of the surface may be necessary as well. Okay, don't forget your free painting course for you up here or in the description. Find out a bit more about my painting school. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos. Right, until next time, happy painting and cheers for now. Mm -hmm.